G'day, it's Paul Pelican here, just going over the Libromancer Mekanko deck list since the ban list is hit. Um, the first thing I just want to say is that I've gone through the main deck and basically just playing um, a main deck that can try and just go first and win. Um, there's no real special text there to go um, second. Things like the Lava Golems are in the side deck. Um, the main reason I've done this is I just didn't think there was enough space to put enough text in there that you could see on a reliable enough basis to, um, yeah, to just go second and break through boards. Um, it would just be more luck. Like even if you played six, um, that's still not enough to see them reliably without playing a card like Prosperity. And because I've gone for the old build, I can't really play Prosperity. So um, that's, yeah, from the outset, that's the reason the deck is the way it is. I'm just hoping if I win the die roll, I'll win game one. If I lose the die roll, I try and play through. But if I can't, then I should be able to, um, yeah, side and win games two and three. So um, to start off with, because I'm playing the Azold build, I'm playing two Agent, one to search off Azold and, and one to search through the, to use in the combo to get the Warriors on the field. Um, three Fire, three Geek, I think that's all pretty standard. Um, playing one Hare uh, just for the combo and with um, Nini, I would like to play Nini but to me it's just a little bit bricky. Um, you don't ever really want to draw it and that's that's a yeah it doesn't sound like a card that you want to play even though it does give you another interruption into like a shifter it's probably just not worth it so i'll, I'll cut that um, i'm playing renaud for the combo um, both of these cards if you draw them individually not both of them together but if you just draw one of them it doesn't stop you from doing your combo um, if you draw the renaud then you just go through and um, yeah, you dump the three equip spells to summon out this one. Um, if you draw this one, it doesn't matter because um, Arabesque can bring it out from hand. So yeah, it really, yeah, it doesn't matter if you draw those. You just don't want to draw both of them. Um, Gale Dogra, it's, yeah, pretty busted. It's the reason why, um, yeah, I, I really like this version. Um, that and, yeah, Christy are down there. Uh, this is not something that I see a lot of people doing, um, but I've, I've upped the count of fairies here um, and playing a Herald of Perfection um, with the pre-prep package and Dawn of the Herald. Uh, I obviously like this going first. Um, if you start with pre-prep, it's um, a really good thing to draw out an ash um, or some other kind of negate um, if you're going second. But um, yeah, basically if you, if you open that and um, Ben 10, then you've, you've got a protection through one interruption. Um, you get the Ben 10 back to hand, you get this on the board with a fairy in hand as well. Um, it's just a lot of card advantage. Um, the one that you really don't want to draw is um, Dawn, but if you draw Perfection and then a Libromancer monster, you're still getting um, almost a full combo anyway. So you're still getting like two Negates and um, Christia. So it, it's not, yeah, it's not a huge concern if you're drawing perfection. And sometimes you can even go through and, um, even if you don't draw pre-prep, but if you draw enough of the other rituals or prep, then you go through and you make um, perfection to get another negate or two on the year end board as well. So, um, yeah. All right, I'm just playing the one Ahime, uh, the three Ben 10 and the one Doom Broker. Um, I didn't really want to play any more of this. I, I don't go into a big package of the Mekankos. Um, basically just what I need for this old combo and to, to put one on board. Um, yeah, I, 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 they're just not the best cards to draw. Um, like th this one is, can be useful, but um, yeah, it's, I'd rather just play uh, more, more Ben 10 and then um, that combo as well with the perfection package and also then I can play more diviners um, that gets me to a diviner which just gets me a bit further in the combo as well um, through some of the yeah some of the better things I think that you can make um, all right yeah three three diviner uh, I don't 
you can't revive it off health anymore but it's um, it's a good it's a decent normal summon um, and you can still get to your crist here just by normal summoning diviner and yeah having one of these so yeah that's fine um Christia, excellent win con um lib intervention just helps protect against things like your dark rulers and yeah it's just another negate um just just keep in mind it doesn't destroy um prep yeah accesses all the good stuff that you want uh, i've already talked about that Call by the grave mainly because like droll is the thing that hurts the deck the most i'm not playing talents in the main deck um or, or the side deck at all because i feel like if they stop you at the right time um you're not actually able to extend through that with with a draw or two in the talents necessarily um whereas this can actually help you to just play through something uh yeah three of the field spell three e telly it's all pretty standard the three equips of the combo and then um, the quick play to summon out Mahime. all right uh lingaribo is there for um when you go through fire when you're going second and you um, bring that out put that on board that instantly you know puts pressure on the back row uh, mascarina decent into um, shifter it's mainly when you'd use it or just when you got a couple of spare bodies the zold for the main combo uh, phoenix is just there for back row uh, this is my uh, warrior monster that i can just make with any two effect monsters I uh, prefer this because it can beat over the Baguska. Um, we've got Unicorn, which goes up into our access code. This is what I've swapped Elf out for, is the Deco Talker, just to um, give some targeting protection. It's not once per turn. Um, usually I would sit an Ahime under it and then a blank under the other arrow um, so that whatever I steal off Ahime might be something that I want to tribute off for its effect. Uh, and yeah unless unless you're getting perfection out as well then you need to figure something else out because you've got all your zones full uh, Appalooza if you get enough but an extra body then you don't do the elf well what used to be the elf um, and and instead of deco talker you can put an Appalooza out there if you want uh, Cupid Pitch the two heralds that's just all part of the combo with Savage Baron, easy to make um, with Diviner and yeah, Entus. Alright, so this is uh, the side for um, when you're siding, when you're going first and Christy is not useful in a matchup, um, then you can side in Alantia, so mainly like Flunderese. Uh, these are to just break through boards um, and yeah, Dark Rulers. Look, if I could play more of these, I would. I did think about Dark Spirits Mastery to search Lava Golem, but you know, it's they can just negate that and then you're negging a fair bit. So um, yeah, just some generic um, yeah, negations. Then just for back row and evenly decent against uh, Kashtira as well. All right, hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, it's not too different than what I was doing pre-ban list. Uh, the main swap just being the deco talker. Uh, yeah, Alright, I'm Paul Pelican. Have a great day.